Hi everybody, it's Joni here at Joni's Journals. Um, I am back today um, to do another video, which I may post later this evening or perhaps for Sunday. I'm not really sure yet. What we are going to do is we are going to take some of the lovely ephemera from the December Daily 2023 Advent Kit that Tracy Fox has put out. Um, it's for sale now on her Etsy, and I will link that below. I will also link the calendar for the actual Advent um, collaboration that's going on right now with all of the lovely people that are participating um, so that you can check that out. I've already done mine. Mine was yesterday. Today is my friend Wilma, and she did an adorable little tag book. Um... Day 10 after that is Deb Zagaret, and she is wonderful too. But I will put the link for the website so that you can check all of this stuff out too. And I will link the kit for you as well. Now, what I have done is I have printed out the page, which I've cut apart by now, which has all of the little Santa Clauses on it. And I have also printed out for our use the page in the kit that has the solid colored tags on it. Um, I also printed out one of the pages that has, if I can get a hold of it, um, some of the designed tags on it. I have another make that I'm going to do using this tag. Uh, that may be, I might do that later on tonight or tomorrow. I'll see how my day goes. We are putting up our tree. Um, but let's get started. What I've done, what you're going to need, I'm using the Ranger Distress Collage Medium um, in both the bottle and in the jar. And I'm also using Tim Holtz Rock Candy. You don't need the rock candy. You don't have to glitter your tag. Um, as you can see, this one is not glittered. These are glittered. It depends on what you would like to do. You can use regular glitter. You don't have to use this, but I have it, so I'm using it. In lieu of using the collage medium, you can use Mod Podge. But although I use Mod Podge on some of my other um, makes, things that I make, I uh, make fairy, oh, sorry I hit you. <laughs> Couldn't go a day without doing that. Um, I do use the Mod Podge, but it makes my nose stuffy and it makes me sneeze. So since I can get the same effect with the collage medium, I'm going to use that. We don't need me stuffy and sneezy. Now what I've done is I've created some little tags. I've backed them with the... I've cut apart my tags and I've used them as a backing. Um, for this one, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought I lost my frog today. I used, I cut apart one of the tags that's included on this page, and I've used that as a backer. On this one, I used the remnant from the tag, so you'll see my trees are sideways, and I glued that on the back. What I also did was I glued the tag itself to a piece of, these are just scraps. It's 110 pound um, cardstock that I get at, uh, where did I get this one? I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. It just gives them a little bit, they're a little bit sturdier, I feel, if you're gonna use them as a, you can use them as a Christmas ornament, or you can use them as a gift tag on a package, whatever you prefer to do. I am currently using die cuts and I am making Christmas tags, but I may just hang these in my tree. So let's get started. It's relatively simple. You just need some glue and some glitter if you want. You don't have to use collage medium. You could just glue your tag onto a piece of cardstock and call it a day and make it just a plain gift tag. This I wanted to show you was something that I was hoping would work out a little bit better than it did. So I'm calling it a fail, um, at least until it dries completely. I had taken one of the Santa Clauses. In fact, it is this one. We're going to use him again in our um, make today. And 
I put a tea bag over him and I inked him and then I put the um, rock candy on it and you can't even see Santa Claus no matter how close I get. I'm going to wait and see if he dries nice. Maybe he'll be a little bit better and I can, you know, brush some of the glitter away. But yeah, that was my fail for today. So let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'm using the collage medium to glue my um, ephemera, the kit ephemera. I'm using the collage medium to glue it to my cardstock only because I find that if I use any other kind of glue and I go over the whatever it happens to be in this case the image um, with the collage medium I find that it regular glues are just a little too wet for the collage medium and it it makes the collage medium come back to life um, the collage medium dries very quickly but if you wet it, it, it comes back to be, and I get bubbles in my items, whatever they may be. So that's my reasoning for gluing my item down with the collage medium. And so I'm just going to glue him down here. He has rounded corners, but we'll take care of that afterwards. I keep checking to make sure we're recording because I have been having a hard time <laughs> making videos lately. If you watch my um, Advent video, uh, you can hear that whole story. Okay, so we've got him collaged down, and I'm just going to cut him out off of the cardstock. I'm going to round the corners. I probably should use a corner rounder. It might work out better, but this works for me as well. I'm just going to my printer is in lacking ink and so some of my images have printed much lighter than they will when you print them i'm sure and until i get some new ink i have to order it from amazon because i get the best price okay so yeah until then my images are going to be a little bit lighter than they probably should be i'm just going to go around and round that corner and I'm going to go around and round that corner. And then I'm just going to trim this down a little because I do see the white cardstock behind it. Okay, so we've got that much done. Now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use, let's see, which one does he match well with? And it's nice with the green. Oh, I think he's cute with the blue, but I think I'm going to go with the green. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to cut this tag out very quickly off this sheet. And I'm going to put my sheet aside. I'm just going to cut around here. I don't need to cut out the whole tag because I'm only using part of it. Well, let's do a better job on that. Let's cut that a little bit better. Okay. <clears throat> And we will cut up the side here. We just, I need to have a base so I know where I'm edging my image up to. And there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take my image of Santa Claus and I am going to make this the back of my card. So I'm going to glue with my collage medium again because I don't want the buckling. I'm going to take my collage medium and spread it all over my tag. Again, you can use Mod Podge or regular glue if you're not covering your tag like I am. And I've got that. And then I'm going to, can you see what I'm doing? I'm just going to push this up a little. Okay, let's go up here a little bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to glue my little Santa down. I'm going to edge him so that I know he's even. And then I'm going to find, there it is, my bone folder. And I'm just gonna push him down and make sure he's stuck fairly well, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna cut him out again. And just all these extra layers of paper 
because I have printed the images onto 65 pound cardstock and then backing it on the 110 pound cardstock and then backing it again on the 65 pound cardstock. It makes for a very sturdy little tag. So that's why I said you can use this as a gift tag on your presents for Christmas, or you can just use it as a decoration on your tree. Okay, so there we go. So now Santa is glued down and we have our back. We can see a little bit of the white. That's okay, we'll just trim that a bit too. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our junk aside, <laughs> our scraps, not our junk, and I'm gonna grab my um, Distress Archival ink, and I'm using, I never remember what it's called. This one is Hickory, no, that's not Hickory Smoke. This is Ground Espresso. And I'm gonna go around the edge of my tag. I know, inking, I'm sorry but it is part of the tag. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna ink a little on the back, like so. See, we lost that white line there. And I do this only because I love grunge. And that's done with that. And we'll put this back, like so, whoops. Let's try to do that again. Okay, all right. And then I'm going to grab my crocodile. You can use a regular hole punch. I just happen to have this one out. And I'm gonna, whoa, I'm gonna center my crocodile on my little tag and put a hole in it so that I have a place to hang my string. I seem to have gotten Santa's cap, but that's all right. And then what I'm gonna do, cause I'm gonna glitter this one up, is I'm gonna grab my collage medium and I'm gonna put on a medium coat. And by that I mean not too heavy, not too thin. And I'm gonna paint it all over my tag. Again, you can use Mod Podge. I am just using my collage medium like so. Got a little bit of over an overage on there. And then I'm gonna use my rock candy glitter. You can use any glitter you have. I don't happen to own a lot of glitter, so that's why you will probably see me use this a lot. And then I'm gonna put a nice thick coat of the rock candy on, like so. And I'll put that aside, put the cap on so I don't spill it. And I'm going to immediately pick this up and tap off the excess because I don't want to lose my image. And I give it a little brush like so. And there we have it. There's our little glittery tag that you can use for a gift or as a decoration on your tree. And I'm just gonna grab my awl and I'm gonna go into that hole I'm going to clean it up to get rid of the excess glitter and the excess glue, like so. And then I am going to put that aside and I'm going to put my glitter back in the bottle. That's why I always use a paper plate. I'm going to fold it in half, like so, and pour it back in the bottle. And then I'm gonna put my paper plate aside because the next one we're going to do, we're not gonna put glitter on, okay? So we have this little guy done. I will put a string in it after we do the other one. I'm gonna put him aside and I'm gonna grab this guy. This one is has to be probably my favorite. Okay, and we're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna glue him onto the cardstock, like so. Put a nice coat on. Get that side and make sure I got the corners and all the edges. And I'll just bring out the extra 
close to the edge because I don't want him to pop off of the cardstock. And then we're going to glue him down. And this one has a nice little cap. So what I might do is just add some bling to him as well. I'm going to pull out my handy dandy, oops, bling from Michaels. Oop, got it on my tag. Okay. All right. And he's glued down. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to wipe off the excess up here. All right. I'm going to cut him out. I originally was planning with my fail, the one where I added the tea bag, I was going to do a Santa Claus ATC card. And I may yet still do that. I don't know that I'll repeat the video because it's going to be basically the same steps as this. Oop. Okay, rounding those corners like so. There we go. I did make a video also this morning where I made a 3D Christmas tree out of paper and that is up and running. So if you want to go over and check that one out. Okay, there we go. I put my tags aside. Now, why did I do that? And I think we're going to put this guy on. We're going to back him with the blue. So let's do a quick cut out of the blue tag like so and put the red aside I just want to cut into this so we don't have that white line like I had on the green one there we go okay oh, let's just trim that and then let's take our Santa Put some more of the collage medium on the back of him. Like this. And spread it all around. Like I said, this is a quick, easy way to make Christmas tags. Um, Tracy has a kit. I think it's called Winter Fun Winter something. I'll link it in the description box below. Let me make sure I'm putting this on the right end. I'm going to put him along the edge there. I'm going to push him down. I'm going to grab my bone folder again. And make sure that he's stuck down like so. And yeah, um, this is a quick, easy way I started to say to make a little gift tag. And Tracy's kit winter, I think it's winter fun or snow fun. Not really sure. I may have missed a spot right there. So we're just going to take and put a little more glue back there. I'll push it down. Wipe the extra. Yeah, you can make gift tags. Tracy's kit, you can make some quick, easy Christmas cards. If you want to make a homemade Christmas card for someone special in your life. Or if you just want to send them out to friends. Well, not that your friends aren't special. <laughs> um, I forgot how many images. I think it's 8 or 12 on the, in the kit. I'd have to look. I'll link it. Um, but yeah, you can make a bunch of Christmas cards just using some Christmas cards. Uh, using some cardstock. Not Christmas cardstock, you silly goose. Use some cardstock. Um, she has a video on her channel. I don't know how to link other people's channels yet, but it's Tracy Fox creative and you can look her up on YouTube. Okay, there we go. Now Santa is all glued down and we're going to ink again like so. I think we'll use the ground espresso again. And we're going to ink him around like this, just to get him a little grungy. You don't have to ink if you don't want to. There is a border around this image um, that's already there, and it's brown. 
to make it look vintage. But like I said, my images are printing a little bit lighter than they should because I'm running out of ink. Okay, let's put that aside there. And then once again, we're gonna take our hole punch or my crocodile, which is what I'm using. And I'm just gonna center it on my tag. I'm gonna punch a hole that way. And then I am going to cover him with collage medium. And because I've used the Distress um, archival ink, which is permanent, it's not going to smear on my tag. I'm gonna go across this way. See how it's not bubbling? Or puckering, I guess is another word for it. I'm gonna go across this way, like so. And I just like the finish that this gives it. I'm not sure that it actually will protect the tag. It's not really waterproof in a sense. Okay, so we have him all painted up. Now let's see if I can successfully add a little bit of bling to his pom-pom. I think that one will be big enough. To his pom-pom on his hat. Let me do this the right way. Let me just grab my um, jewel tool and see if I can. Whoops, it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> All right, cancel that. We are going to use my tweezers. Let me grab those. Okay. Now I'll just grab a hold of it. My fingers are all sticky from using the collage medium. Ah, there we go. Let me just grab it so I can get it into the right area at least. And we'll just, you know what? I don't think I like the bling. I'm not gonna do it. I don't like the way it looks. It takes away from the vintage image. Okay, cancel the bling. Um, I have little pearls, but I think they're too tiny. Yeah, they're too tiny. Okay, cancel the bling. No bling for us today. So what we're going to do instead is we are just going to tie our string on. I'm going to look and see if I have... Yep, I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to cut off a length. And as usual, if you know me by now, I always cut off way too much. I'm just gonna put it through. We'll do this guy first so that he doesn't feel left out. We did toss him aside. We're just gonna take it and we're gonna put it through our hole. I think because this string is a little bit thicker than the embroidery thread, I'm gonna have to do it this way. But that's okay, because that works too. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna see how long we want it. And I think that's long enough, just like that. And we're gonna tie a knot in it, like so. Come on. And there you have it, your little tag for your tree or a gift, we have that one, like so. And the collage medium does dry quickly, so we can do this guy too. Let me see if this piece of string is gonna be long enough. It should be. Because if I'm gonna hang them on my tree, I'm gonna add a hook anyway. Oh, yeah, I think that's long enough. I'm just gonna tie a knot around come on i don't know what kind of knot this is it's sticking to my fingers because my fingers are gluey oh yeah let's try this again you know what i'm just going to use a longer piece this is why i use longer pieces of string than i need because i'm just a fiddly finger okay that should be good <laughs> 
All right. I just want to finish this up for you. I know by now you're probably like, okay, we know how to tie a knot, Joni. And, okay, now my piece of string is longer. I have more to play with. Okay. Just going to pull this through like so. And there we have it. Now I'm going to cut off the excess like so. And there you go. We made two tags in, what, 20 minutes? Of course, they do have to dry before you use them. And here's the other ones that I've made. And there you go. There's a Christmas gift tag or Christmas tree ornament, Christmas tree decoration made from the December Daily Advent Kit. Go over and check it out. I will link it below and I will also link the calendar. Be sure to go over and check out everybody and see what they're doing. And you guys have a great rest of your day or night or wherever you may be. Remember to like, oops, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'm sending you big hugs, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye for now. Happy holidays.